Good day students, welcome to mathgotserved.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to find the values of all six trig ratios on a right triangle. Let's assume that we're given this right triangle. This is the 90 degree angle here and we have this is angle theta and instructions are for us to find the value find the values of all six trig ratios for the spe specified angle okay for the specified angle All right, so first things first, um, let's say we have this angle theta as a given angle and the hypotenuse 13 is provided and this side is also provided as five. Now with this triangle, first thing we want to do is we want to label the triangle. To label the triangle, we are going to have to identify the opposite hypotenuse and the adjacent. Why do we want to do that? Well, because we are going to be using this mnemonic tool uh, called Sokatoa to help us to determine the ratios, all six trig ratios with reference to this angle right here. Okay? So if this is angle theta, the given angle, then the side opposite the angle is going to be called your what? Your opposite. Okay, opposite the 90 degree angle is the longest side of the triangle. The longest side of the triangle is also known as your hypotenuse. The other side, the third side, is your adjacent. Now what do these three sides tell us? The names that we've given the three sides tells us what A, H, and O in Sokotoa are. Okay, so A, we have A, we have O and we have H. Those are the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse of a right triangle which reference to a specific angle. Okay, so uh, we're going to be using these sides to basically determine the values of all six trig um, ratios with reference to angle theta. Now, in order for us to find all six trig ratios, we need to have the measures of all three sides. If you take a look at the triangle that we have here, we know what the hypotenuse is, we know what the adjacent is, but we're missing the opposite, okay? So we need to determine what the, the opposite is before we can proceed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to proceed to find the opposite, okay? So find the opposite. So how do we find the opposite? Well, we're going to use the following formula. Um, we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem, okay? But we're going to be using the advanced variation of the Pythagorean theorem. So we have the three sides here. We have two legs. The legs are the adjacent and the opposite. So the formula is going to be a squared plus b squared plus c squared, okay? So we have a squared plus b squared plus, I mean, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, if we want to adapt the Pythagorean theorem to a triangle of this nature, we can simply express this as the adjacent square plus the opposite square equals to the hypotenuse square. All right, it doesn't matter what you call A or B, okay? If you want to call A your adjacent and then B is going to be a, your opposite and then the C will be the hypotenuse. All right, so we're going to use this formula to determine the missing side, which is the opposite. So let's go ahead and substitute. Our adjacent is five, so we have five squared plus our opposite, 
we don't know what that is, opposite square is equal to your hypotenuse, which is 13 square. Now when you simplify, 5 square is 25 plus the opposite square is going to be 13 square, which is 169. Now when you subtract 25 from both sides, let's go ahead and do that, subtract 25 from both sides, that will give us opposite square equals 169 minus 25 is 144. Now we'll go ahead and take the square root of um, both sides of our equation, so we'll take the square root and the square root, and that will give us what the opposite is. So the opposite is going to be 12. Now that we have all three sides, we can go ahead and um, solve the problem, okay? So let's partition our workspace down the center. Let's list what we have. We know that the adjacent is 5, the opposite is 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. All right, so let's go ahead and start using SOKOTOA, the formula that we wrote earlier here, the acronym to help us determine what sine, cosine, tangent are and their reciprocals. Okay, let's start with sine. Sine theta from SO is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is 12 and hypotenuse is 13. So sine theta is 12 over 13. Now the reciprocal of sine is cosecant, written as CSC, and that we can determine by reciprocating 12 over 13. When you reciprocate 12 over 13, you are simply interchanging the numerator and the denominator, so that gives you cosecant. Now cosine theta, we are now going to use the ka component of SOKOTOA. CA simply means that cosine is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Now the adjacent is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. We can use the cosine to find another trig ratio. The trig function that's related to cosine by reciprocation is the secant function. Okay, secant is a reciprocal of cosine, so it's simply going to be 13 over 5. The result we get by reciprocating cosine. Now let's uh, go ahead and find out the last two. Uh, we have tan. To, fan, to find tan theta, we're going to use um, toa in Sukha toa. Okay. Now what does TOA mean in SOKOTOA? TOA simply means that tan is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent, OA, okay? So O, the opposite, O is 12, and the adjacent is 5. Now when you reciprocate tan, you get cotangent, as a result of interchanging the numerator and the denominator, you get 5 over 12 as your result for cotangent theta. Now to finish this problem off, we're going to just organize all our answers in a nice little package. So we have um, sine theta is 12 over 13, which follows that it's reciprocal cosecant theta is 13 over 12. Cosine theta is 5 over 13, which follows that its reciprocal secant theta is 13 over 5. Tan theta is 12 over 5, which follows that its reciprocal cotangent theta is 5 over 12. All right, so there goes our final answer. Let's go ahead and box it. 
Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation, really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of right triangle trig, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to um, support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other math tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.